Right, so someone asked me recently about like how creatine and gym has been going. Well, we'll just do my 20 minute test that I did last Sunday um, was, okay, this is always gonna sound stupid. It was my best 20 minute test since my power meter changed. So when I had my stages, I cracked out 350. On my info crank, the best I've done is 334. Um, so you can see like best of this year, obviously, but if we compare in general um, of all time, you can see 350, I did 334 in, um, sorry, 332 in 2021. Um, and then, so yeah, this one was basically my best one here in, in 330. So they're all about the same. You can see I'm pretty like, pretty similar at doing 334. Obviously that's like on my stages, that was on my stages as well. So kind of hard to tell. But anyway, so basically the numbers are going okay, considering I haven't done too much intensity. Um, so has gym worked? We'll see. Now, the question is, how much gym am I doing? So I think it's probably good uh, idea to go back to when I actually started doing gym, which would have been uh, after my off season. So if we go to September, um, we'll be able to see exactly. So I did Serbia, yeah, doing that B, had two weeks off. You can see I started going to the gym. So I was doing creatine for this part here. Um, and it was like pretty, pretty decent. You can see like I started off super, super easy. Um, there was nothing too stressful at all. Um, the first couple of ones just wanted to make sure that I was not going to hurt myself. I probably didn't have long enough off season, but we can talk about that in another day. Um, and then we kind of go, you can see just like the gym's going better and better. We did like a big sesh here, um, the squats going up and all the rest of it. Um, but what it does go to show is that we were making gains. Now, the question is, how much is that is just me going to the gym as a new person? Probably everything. But also, I guess the question is, how much is that from me doing creatine as well? I think it, with the creatine, it's really hard to tell because I've changed so much in my life. Like, I think back in the day, obviously, I was like a full timer. Um, sorry, I wasn't a full timer. Now I am. I've been since the first of June, I've been more or less full time. So, realistically, like, there's not really much I can say about it um, in terms of the fact of like how much I um, have got better. Uh, but what I can give you is some weight. So, on the 4th of November 2022, uh, which was, uh, so I've been going to the gym for a decent amount. You can see, like, I was riding. Okay, I did a 20 minute test, but like I was riding okay. Like I wasn't, you know, I obviously wasn't eating like perfect, but I wasn't, you know, in full off season binge mode. And I was 66 kilos on the 4th of November. So that's pretty big. And to be honest, I kind of binned off creatine like after that, because I just couldn't hack the weight. Like it's pretty depressing going uphill at 66 kilos when you normally like 60, 61. So it was tough. Um, and then my weight kind of dropped like, um, not that quick to be fair. Like I was like, I lost like a kilo uh, by the 13th of November, I think it was. Um, and then by the 27th, uh, so a fair amount after I'd actually stopped taking creatine, I then got down to 62 kilos. So you can see like the weight loss was pretty decent um, in terms of that. So the gym though, keep going up. So, you know, like you'll see here, my squats are not up to 55 kilos. Like it was just gradual. Obviously like all of this, I was only doing endurance rides. I was doing a lot of, a lot of hours, obviously. Um, but then we kind of got to like, um, if we look at some of the gym sessions recently, like I was cracking out a lot more, like you'll see 70 kilo squats. So obviously like I've made a lot of gains. How much is creatine? I don't know. Um, and the question is like, would I do creatine again? Yeah. But it's just like one of those things that's really hard to do because the weight gain is just really like hard to deal with. And you might go, oh yeah, it's water weight. But like, it's just a bit depressing going really slow everywhere and everything else. So I kind of binned it off. Um, due to that, like in hindsight, I probably should have kept going. Um, but yeah, I, I, to be honest, I didn't notice a massive difference. I looked bigger, uh, like, but it was also off season. But anyway, nonetheless, I don't think it's a massive, massive game changer. Like I didn't really do it when I was doing intervals and all the rest of it. So I couldn't really tell exactly, but for the gym, it was decent, but I didn't feel like, wow, I feel absolutely unbelievable. Um, but maybe that was due to the fact that I was doing so many hours, like if the, if you're doing a 28 hour week, um, well, 26 and a half on the bike and then like an hour at the gym, then um, in reality, it's going to be a tough one to uh, to see massive gains in the gym. So I don't really know. So the guess the conclusion of this video, sorry for rambling so long, is yeah, creatine is okay, but I don't think it's like a magic bullet, which obviously none of these supplements really are. Um, probably try it in off season, but I really would not recommend doing it during any on season because like the water weight gain is just, is pretty rough. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this vid. I'll see you in the next one.